Hello everybody, it's me Charlotte, and today I had another idea. Um, a few weeks ago, I've mentioned this before, I did a pom-pom video and someone had suggested, I do not remember who, that they've always wanted to see a pom-pom and a tassel together. Um, I've done videos on both tassels and pom-poms, but I thought, okay, let's try to put the tassel and the pom-pom together and see what great creation we can have. I've never done this before, so I have no clue of what it's going to be like or what it's going to look like. Um, so I thought I would just go ahead, try it here on camera, and see what the outcome may be. Today we're going to try to marry a pom-pom and a tassel together, and they have a baby. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, before we get started, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking and commenting and sharing my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. All right. So I think in my head, I think I should make a tassel first. So to make a tassel, I'm just going to use a DVD case and I'm going to get some yarn. And I'm just going to wrap the yarn around the DVD case until I think that's enough for a tassel. I have no clue of how many times I want to do it. We'll just, there's no rhyme or reason here, guys. Let's just wrap some yarn around a DVD case and see what happens. Um, I don't know, like I said, someone had suggested to put a pom-pom and a tassel together. So I thought, you know, why not? This channel is for you guys, so if that is what you wanna see, well then, let's see it. All right, I'm gonna cut my yarn here at the bottom. All right, now I'm just gonna slide this off. All right, have my little setup here. Now, what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a tassel. So, take another piece of yarn here, go in between all these little loops I just made, and I'm going to tie this tight. See, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to use this string, or this yarn here, to tie my pom-pom with. So, I think that will make them united. We'll see. All right, so I got those together. Now I need to make my little tassel, you know, wrap thing. So I'm gonna get another piece of yarn here. Like I said, guys, I don't even know if this will work or what it's gonna look like. It may look kinda silly. But you won't know until you try it. I've been thinking a lot about my channel and the direction it's going and I've decided that, you know, I don't really care. I mean, I care, but I don't really care if it's like a great successful channel and has lots of subscribers and gets lots of views. I'm just going to have fun with it. So I'm going to do what I want to do. And I want to make people happy, but like I said before, it's impossible to make people happy. Like me talking. People don't like when I talk too much. I like talking. I'm going to continue talking. <laughs> um, okay, so there's my tassel. But anyway, the moral of the story is I'm just going to do videos on whatever I want to do videos on. And if people watch them, great. If people don't, oh well. <laughs> All right, here's my tassel. Now I'm going to cut the bottoms. And we'll see what we have. All right, bottoms are cut. Okay, so here is our tassel. All right, it needs kind of like steamed out or something to make these nice and straight, but we have a tassel. Now to make a pom-pom. Now if you watched my other video on how to make a pom-pom, it was like, that's if you want to make like one nice big pom-pom for a hat. This is just, I think I'm going to make like a messy pom-pom, so I'm just going to use my hand, and if you've never made a pom-pom using your hand, I'm going to show you how to do that too. I just take it and I wrap it around my four fingers, try to keep them, you know, straight not kind of bunched together, and you just want to wrap around your hand, like, until you feel like your fingers, you can no longer feel the tips of your fingers. That's, that's how I go by it. But, I don't know. <laughs> you just wrap a lot of yarn, um, until you can't wrap anymore, I guess. I don't know, let's see how many times I feel like wrapping. 
or until you feel like stopping. It's up to you. I really enjoy this whole new perspective I have on things is I'm not trying to please everyone. I'm just going to have fun and do what I want and say what I want and make the videos I want to make and be happy. Life is all about perspective and being happy and you just got to make yourself happy. So, all right. I think I'm getting close because my fingers are starting to bunch together and look kind of silly. So I have no idea how many times I wrap that. Okay, so then I'm gonna slide it off my fingers carefully. If you wear rings, you might wanna take your rings off because the rings will snag the yarn. All right, so there's that. Now I think I'm going to take the string that I tied my tassel with and I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna tie my pom-pom with that string. So it'll literally be on top of the pom-pom. Again, I'm going to use a surgeon's knot, which just means I wrap it twice around and pull, and then I'll make another knot. Guys, this might look really, really silly. Okay, this is what we have so far. Yeah, I know. It doesn't look that appealing. Okay. Now, I did sharpen my scissors. I used tinfoil this time because someone recommended tinfoil. I used tinfoil this time, and it is a little better. I think I just need to invest in some new scissors. Like I said, this is going to be a sloppy pom-pom. And that was another thing people yelled at me for wasting so much yarn on trimming my pom-pom. I don't get it. People can be really rude. But whatever. I try to be kind to everyone. But, you know. Ugh cut through all these loops. I'm really curious to know what this is going to look like. I don't know what you would use this for. I really, I don't know where this would come in play. I don't think you'd want it on a hat because then the tassel would like dangle down, but I mean, it might be cool. I don't know. Make sure all your little loops are cut. Now we just have this. <laughs> all right. We have a pom pom and a tassel united together forever. Maybe not forever, but okay. Now our pom-pom looks a little messy, so we could probably trim that up a little bit. Make sure we don't cut our strings. I guess you could make it into, I don't even know if you'd want it to be a keychain. Maybe you could hang it in your rear mirror. Maybe you could hang it on a hat like that, and then it would be like, I don't, I don't know. You guys, if you make one, I want to know what you guys are going to do with it. If you make one. I don't know if you want to waste your time making one. But, hey, we'll see. Again, I'm trimming... This is why in my other pom-pom video I make templates because there is an art to it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the YouTube uh, video of that wonderfully talented lady that literally makes little animals out of pom-poms. That is just not something everyone can do. Um, she is definitely a skilled, crafty woman and very talented. You have to be artistic to do that stuff. Um, I wouldn't have a pom-pom left if I had to trim it that much to make it actually look like something as adorable as those little rabbits that she was making. Those are cute. I would definitely just have to probably buy one of those because, like I said, I am not artistic enough to do that. So, yeah. I wish I was. Because those are little cute little thingies. Okay. Well, I think that's it, guys. I think that is as pom pom -y and tassel, and there wasn't that much waste, as pom pom -y and as tassel -y as we can get it. <laughs> Again, I don't know what you're going to use this for, or if you'd even want to make one of these, but like I said, someone requested a pom pom and a tassel unite, so a pom pom and a tassel has united. Um, like I said, you could probably, you know, put it on a hat like that, and it would be like a 
ponytail on a tassel. I don't know, guys. <laughs> but that's the video for today. Um, first time I ever made one, so hey, let me know what you guys think. Waste of time or something, something worth doing. I don't know. Um, if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. If you would like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a beautiful, wonderful, fabulous day, and happy crafting. Bye!